I am doing a video all about the Champions League final. So basically today I'm just going to be sharing my thoughts on the Champions League final, talking about how Juventus played, how Real Madrid played, looking at the celebrations and looking at some of the players' stats. So let's get started. So firstly, obviously the Champions League final was held in Cardiff on the 3rd of June and both teams, Real Madrid and Juventus, played okay. I mean, Real Madrid ended up winning it 4-1, so they were the best team. But both of the teams came into the game very good. But the first goal was scored in the 19th minute by Cristiano Ronaldo. But soon after, I think it was Mandzukic who scored an amazing goal. Take a look at this. What a goal! What a goal. Anyway, then it was half time, but before anybody knew it, Real Madrid got three goals. So this meant Juventus couldn't do anything about it before the final whistle blew, and Real Madrid ended up, uh, ended up winning the Champions League back to back before anybody else in the world could do it, and they ended up winning it for what? Which I couldn't see happening. Anyway, in that match, Juventus managed to make 959 passes. And only four of them were offsides. Meanwhile, Real Madrid ended up having 56% off the possession. And 15 of their 18 attempts were on target. Let's take a look at the celebrations. is that anyway it is now the end of the video and if you enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like subscribe for more and bang oh bang why not bang oh yeah